So currently, uh, we still have this, some difficulties in onshore wind because uh, I think that the perceptions of people is a little negative. There has some history there. Also, uh, the media has played a role in um, uh, giving the people the impression or giving residents the impression that, uh, that these turbines are not a good thing. So what I frequently hear is uh, comments on low frequency noise or concerns about the safety. There's also some uh, reports of uh, oil leakage by wind turbines. The thing is that, that there, are, there are solutions for that. And um, so if we start with the, the, the easiest one, uh, oil leakage, there, there are turbine designs that do not have oil. So Anacom, for example, our turbine, we do not use oil. So choose the right turbine and um, it, 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 it will not pollute uh, your fish pond. Uh, the second uh, thing there would be uh, safety. The type of turbine that is chosen by the developer is really important. Uh, yeah, obviously Taiwan has typhoons and earthquakes, so you need to choose a turbine type that is suitable for that. We have that, it's called the IEC Class 1 turbine. So as long as the developer chooses the right type of turbine, you're good to go. Uh, and add to that good maintenance, which I think we also do well. We offer our customers uh, uh, all inclusive service agreements, so we guarantee the customer 97% availability and uh, we take care of all repairs, maintenance on that turbine. So if, if, if you hand that to us and uh, we will make sure that that's done properly, uh, nothing will happen to your turbines. And, and we have actually the evidence to prove that. We have 233 turbines installed, the first one installed in Bonghu. Uh, some 20 years ago and it's still running, nothing ever happened to it. And then your first question about noise. Yeah, so, so sound noise levels are very subjective and it's actually difficult to share with people what the sound level exactly is. And um, what I have done is um, I've, I've actually recorded a running turbine in the office, in our head office in Germany. So I'm sitting in the office it's uh, stormy weather, it's raining, it's running full power um, and uh, I sit there and, and I, you hear nothing. So at that moment I, so I used my iPhone to take an image of that. So I have that video where you can see uh, the turbine running outside full power and uh, I've recorded about 30 seconds or a minute of that. And the only thing, if you listen to that video carefully, the only thing that you will hear in that video is the mouse clicks of my colleagues and, 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 and the keyboard clicks uh, when they are typing. That's your sound level. Sight to sound is the perception because no matter how small the sound is, if you're annoyed by it, it, it can make you sick. I believe that. I mean, if, if you live in an apartment building and the little kid upstairs is always running at the moment that you want to try to go and catch sleep, uh, no matter that that's loud, not very loud, it can really annoy you because you know that doesn't have to be there. And uh, in this respect or in this aspect, I think uh, community wind can really help. So community wind is an idea where you invite residents to take a, a participation into the wind farm. So you let them contribute a small amount of money into the building of the wind farm. And in return, on a yearly basis, based on the amount of energy that the turbine produces and is sold, they get uh, some uh, interest on that. In Europe, that's usually six, seven, eight percent on a yearly basis. And that changes your whole perspective because you have paid some money to build that, um, that, that, that structure outside that is now earning you money. And on top of that, you have done something to um, produce renewable energy. You have done something to make a better world. And that really has helped Germany, Netherlands to promote onshore wind in some areas and I think this would be a great model for Taiwan as well. I know that right now there is work in progress on one on the island of Penghu and we're waiting for this to be finalized and announced successfully and uh, then we hope that there are many followers of, uh, of that uh, model.